California. Okay, so um, listen to me. I'm not DMing you. I'm not, I'm not reaching out to thank you for being a fan or for your support or asking you if you want to, whatever it is. Hi. Yeah, she got a baby in a backpack in the front. It's carrying the baby in front. I'm not, um, it's not me. The people that I DM with know who they are. But if I don't know you, I'm not doing that. So it's not me. Okay? Too close? All right. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. You think Tarantino's on the spectrum? Oh, yeah? You think? Wow, bold, no shit, of course he is. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, what's up, Pally? What's up, what do you got going? Sam, hi Sam, hello Sam, hello Sam. I just like, I, I don't like, where, where do you think I would have the time to do that? I mean, I'm not saying that anyone, you know, look, we all live in our little worlds, our little bubbles, but do you, do you really think I'm sitting around DMing everybody in a, in a, um, sort of in a tone that n is not me at all, if you know me, just to, to say thanks and ask you for personal information? I mean, like, let's think about it logically, okay? Let's assume that I have like 500 people here right now just watching me, you know, do this bullshit. You think like after this, I'm like, now I'm going to like just knock out about 200 DMs to people, women mostly, and just sort of thank them in a weird tone for, uh, for, for watching and being my fan. Do you think that I'm doing that? Like, I'm just going to take three hours to sort of cut and paste in, in a tone that isn't me at all and just drop a line to to these women. Come on, you guys. Seriously. Sammy. All right, bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. That's it. Come on, Sam. Bring it back. Bring it to me. Come on, buddy. Come on, Sammy. Bring it here. Come on. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. You got... Bring it here. Where's the ball? Booster. Ready? Sam, Sam. Okay, let's go. No, get it, get it, get the ball, get the ball. Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh, man. All right. Sam. No, kill him, did not send me new rugs. Come on. These are the same rugs. Here. Come on, buddy. Come. Sam, where's the ball?
What, what is going on? Hey, buddy. Hi, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Yeah, I don't have the ball. It's over there. Because you didn't do your part. You didn't do your part, Sam. What time is it? Hey, Buster. Buster. Buster, come here. You want you want you want to hang out? Buster? Buster? No? Hi, buddy. Nice to see you. Hey, Sean, how did your shoot go yesterday? Thanks for uh, giving me 12 minutes notice to come be locked into the echo <laughs> while you played a half a song and wandered around the, <laughs> the crowd. Sorry I couldn't make that. How did it go, though? Come on, Sammy. All right, you ready? Come on, buddy. Come on, bring it. Oh, you can make a noise. You gonna make a noise? Okay, you guys, so it's been a pretty difficult couple of days in my head, but um, not that it matters. You know what, my process, I don't know what your process is, but uh, my process is something that happens on a deeper level in my brain and heart than I really understand. Because every time I got to do these fucking shows where I do my dumb fucking method and uh, that, like, you know, I just, you know, I, I come unhinged because I need to be unhinged. That just seems to be the way it goes. What's going on? I'm going to move these. These speakers are on the way out and those are going to go downstairs. They finally fi fixed my fucking shades. I wonder how long it's going to take. Um, so, but, like, but I do it all the time. Like, walking into these fucking dynasty shows. All right, so I've been, you know, I've been doing 15-minute sets, and I've been pushing that, and it's been rude to other comics a little bit. But, I, you know, I'm ready to, you know, stretch out. But then my brain just starts stretching out and it's just like on fire all the time. And then I'm doing shit to try to manage that, which means, you know, figuring, figuring out other reasons to be hard on myself. Man, it, I'm just fucking beating the fuck out of myself, you guys. And I, you know, I hate to admit that it, at this fucking, at this late in the game, that that's still how I work. So then, like my buddy Jerry said, I'm going to get on stage, you know, trapped in a bear trap, and I have to gnaw my way out of it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I, I don't know, uh, I don't know if I love it, to be honest with you. I don't know how to do it any other way, and it happens innately. I do not try to stop it because I don't know what else there is for me. I don't know what I would change to. I even started, you know, I've written some, uh, I've written some, uh, some uh, standard structure jokes, man, but we're going to go at it. And it bothers me that like these dynasty shows are a little pricier than what I used to do. I used to, I used to do, um, where'd the fucking tripod go? I used to just, I used to do the Steve Allen theater for like five bucks. And I wouldn't even take, you know, I'd just give it to the theater. I should have worked that deal out before. Because I don't need to, I don't really need to get paid for these things. And I could have just kicked it back to the theater. But I didn't make these arrangements. My agent did. Oh, maybe that's the issue then. Huh? Somebody doesn't care about my charitable impulses. Well, let's get some bread. I'm kidding, man. Joe's a good guy. So, um... 805. I'm going to work out, and I guess Dean's coming over. I'm going to try to pull my heart out of the mud uh, and do a 
Yeah, the first four Thursdays in July. It doesn't look like I'm doing the last one. I don't know how that happened. And I got to go to New Mexico on Friday to deal with my dad for a couple of days. See how he's holding up. So here's the, uh, the new plan. I'm still basically not eating sugar or carbs, but like Julie's sent me some dates and I gave away a bunch of them. Um, but I still have these little boxes. I gave away the big boxes, but I still have these little boxes. And that's been happening. No ice cream, though. But I hear that they're going to send me some ice cream. Yes, I know. Dean, you know, is you know, we're all excited about Dark Fonzie. And Dean, Dean will read like, he'll read like three, uh, three glowing comments on... Um, iTunes, and it'll be like, dude, we're killing it. We're killing it. It's fire. We're killing it. Like, it's like, look at this. Yeah. Like, three good comments. People love it. You mean, those three people? But see, look at, man, I've, the, I'm all cynical and fucked up because it's hard for me to not, it's hard for me to wrap my brain around Yeah, Perry. They're all very excited about the t-shirts. That's all anyone talks about. It's just, it, you know, it's just a portal to the shirt. It's not really, it has nothing to do with what me or, or, uh, or Dean talk about. It's really like, oh, they have a shirt? That's all we're working towards, Perry. I've become in such a dick, man. I've got it. it, it thank God these fucking shows are starting. Whoa, you guys. What is that bird? Is that a morning dove? How do I... What is that bird? Pretty bird. Oh. Hey. You're the one who makes that noise? See that? Did you see that? No, you're not paying attention. There was a bird right out there. So, yeah, I'm just because I like I my misanthropy is uh, deepening. Hopefully, it's even with my humility, or else we're in trouble. But last night at the store, I got back to it. Got back to a good tone. Whatever, man, doesn't matter. Did you read my buddy Sam's uh, short story in The New Yorker? Great. Go read Sam's piece on apology. Excuse me. Hello, buddy. <sighs> Hi. What's up? Is there something I can help you with? Do you want some eggs? I made this stuff, so I get Israeli salad. Very good. What's the beeping? It's my fucking horrible refrigerator. <clears throat> um, yeah, but boy, I'm, I'm fucking done with this species. 
But the thing is, I'm, I'm one of them. So all that self-hatred, that's what's milling, that's how it's milling through. My self-contempt for not being able to or engaging in doing more to stop the unstoppable. Guaranteed. What brand refrigerator? It's a Thermador. That was here when I got it, when I got the house. It's a fancy fridge, but it's a very shallow fridge. And I don't know, man. Everything gets old and shitty. Refrigerators, people, cats. I was thinking about that the other day. Like for some reason I was thinking about Bourdain. I was thinking about people who kill themselves at a certain age. And I, I, I tell you, man, like depression, whatever, like whatever the selfishness of it is, there was a moment yesterday where I, where I realized like, you know, the big payoff to life, which is supposedly living a long one, not great, not great. And on some level, if you consider it, why wouldn't you want to not do that? Not suicidal, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that getting old, like, oh, I see my old man and stuff. And if you're lucky and you make it to 83, I mean, is that luck? Is that good? All right, here we go. Existential grief is right. And then it's just compounded by the goddamn planet dying. Maybe we'll all die at the same time. I mean, no one's going to miss anything. Let's, um,. Here's, here's what I'll do. If you give me a letter, I'll just go, I'll find, I'll try to find a record that we can play. I'm not saying he didn't do great things. No, it's not a great thought process, but I, you know, P, okay. But I've done, you know, whatever. I'm not there. Don't worry about it. I, you know, genetically, I'm not suicidal. My dad's a miserable fuck. Miserable fuck who's just, you know, just miserable. And all he does is sit around and talk about how bored he is. You know, that's what I come from. What's, what's the fucking point? Of what? Anything. So you don't want to do anything? Why? Okay. I'm bored. Well, you don't want to do anything. I know. It's, what's there to do? Who cares? All right, so what's the point of life? Who knows? I'm bored. That's what I come from. All right. Occasionally, there's... Well, more than occasionally, there was like, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of that. But he never did it. And now we all have to just wait. <laughs> now it's just a waiting game. What do you think this one is? Panic. That looks like a Sing Sing record. Probably a power, like uh, some power pop. Oh, where the hell does that go? Yeah, no Graham Parsons. I'm curious about this. Do you guys know this? Up for a bit with the pastels. Playing old music? Yeah, maybe I will. I'm curious about this one. This is, I think, an old Sing Sing record. It's probably some lost power pop band. Let's try it. Yes, I'm loved and I have plenty to be excited about. Yes! That's true. Thank you. That's, that's the other side of it. But as Lynn said in one of her journals, if I can just get Mark to love himself, maybe he'll be able to love me. Yeah. Live with that. 
piece of writing from your dead girlfriend. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I have the I have all the Sing Sing reissues. That guy, there's a little gunk on there. I should clean that record. But that guy from Sing Sing, he's, he's got a new label. We're going to put on here. Okay, okay. Stop yelling. What time is it? Um, I guess I'm not getting a haircut ever again. The woman who cuts my hair really well is not back till the middle of July. So, Megan is coming in 12 minutes. Sing Sing's not around. But he's got another label. I don't remember what it's called. I can tell you. Do you need to know? Hold on. Time to do more existential talk. Come to my dynasty shows. I think maybe the new show is going to be framed around a, a, a meditation practice. I gotta write that down. The new label is this one. Reminder Records is the guy from Sing Sing. You dig it? Ah. Oh. Use whatever options you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself or others. I just, I read Danny Trejo's book. It's hard, if I read the book, it's like when I talk to people, I delete them too much, but man, what a fucking book. If you're a fan of what, if you're a fan of knowing how jail works, you definitely should read his book. Maybe I'll get on later. I'm going to have to record the, the music today. But this Trejo book, like, because I had to talk to Danny. And, uh, you know, I've worked with him before. And I, I, he came with his son, which was kind of cool. His son's a director. But if you're a fan of... Oh, boy, does he fucking... Man, he fucking takes Edward James almost 
to tow. He fucking takes him to task. Throws him way under the bus. Good story. Like it was like it was settling a score, man. And uh, but if you're a fan of like Straight Time, did you read Straight Time, the Art Pepper book? That's about a 400 page book. One of the great alto sax players. 380 pages, just fucking heroin in prison. 20 pages about music. And at the end, the big takeaway is don't be a rat like Chet Baker. So. Both in the book and on the pod, we talk about it. Machete was already here two days ago. Um, but it's uh, you know, he's it's deep shit, man. Yeah, his son seems super cool, but like he writes a lot about his son's addiction. So it's sort of weird having written a memoir or two myself, knowing woman assaulted person at West Duran. That's like right around the corner for me. I get these citizens update. Just that a woman assaulted a person on Duran. It's like down the street. Where should you start with Je- with Zappa? I don't know, man. I you know I've only been through. I'm I'm only like a quarter of the way, third of the way into Zappa. Start with one of the fun ones. Just listen to Joe's Garage and listen and listen to the story and then go back. You know, Tinseltown Rebellion, Hot Rats is the first one, but I don't know, for the good shit, for like, you know, what makes Zappa funny, I personally think, despite the fact that it was one big hit record, that the story, the opera, the, uh, what do you, what's the, uh, What's the story? The libretto. The libretto of Joe's Garage is pretty great. Oh, yeah. Overnight Sensation. Yeah. Who did you say wrote the piece on... uh, Oh, Sam Lipsight wrote a piece in The New Yorker that just came out. My buddy. my Really one of my best friends who I talk to every day and I'm currently pitching a show with. uh, I think it's called The Apology. And it's pretty fucking funny. Rolling in it for the money. That's funny, too. Roxy and Elsewhere is good. That's a live record. But, I mean, I think all those records are great. But I really do think that, like, Joe's Garage, like, a lot of shit came together. And the story's great. Be a cruise slut. Opinion of the Velvet Underground. That's nice. The way you frame that and not thoughts on. The Velvet Underground are tremendous. I listen to them a lot. I play their music on my guitar a lot. I love them. I was listening to one of Lou's solo records yesterday and I was like, you know what? I think it's okay to accept that Lou made a lot of shitty records and just enjoy the ones that you like. Any other opinions? You need. Um, Lipsight's Homeland is hilarious, but Lipsight's The Ask, also tremendous. And so is um, Hark, his newest, his newest one about the spirituality business is pretty good too. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know about authors on the pod. Authors are tricky. Um, all right. You guys all right? Which Lou didn't I like? The bells is the one that I was like, no, no, there's, there's a few Lou's that, Look, man, I, I'll forgive him for everything because I love him. And the Blue Mask is the best. New York, fucking great. Obviously, uh, Transformers, good. But, um, oh, yeah, and uh, Street Hassle, tremendous. Look, I I even like New Sensations, all right? Berlin, okay, a little dark. But, look, you know, what are you going to do? 
You want guitar? All right, maybe this afternoon. What time is it? 25. Uh, yeah, writers aren't always great. Do I have graphic novels that I like? I do. I do have a few. that I used to read them more. Yeah, I've got to read the George Saunders. I haven't done it. You know, it's been hanging there for a long time. That Metallica thing? i got to give it another listen. I, you know... I'm sure it's fine. I got to play guitar later when I do the intro, okay? But yeah, The Watchmen's great, but everyone says The Watchmen graphic novels. Yeah, that was good. I read that a long time ago. I think it's really great if you love comics. When I read it, I'm like, people are like, this is genius. And I'm like, is it? And then you're like, oh. My, I got into comics with the Alan Moore Swamp thing. And then I, I started with Hellblazer. I was there at the beginning of Hellblazer, the beginning of Sandman, and then all the underground shit. But like, then I got out, in and out. Never made a life out of it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna work out. It's not fine? What's fine? Whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the From Hell. The Jack the Ripper, was it? The From Hell books are good. That's Alan Moore too, right? From Hell is good. Yeah, Daniel Klaus Patience is great, but he's written better ones, Klaus, to be honest with you. Spiegelman's okay, he's great. I mean, Spiegelman, Spiegelman. From Hell's good. We good? Everything all right? Mouse, yeah, Mouse is good, yeah. Oh, uh, Hannah Arendt graphic novel? I'll do I'll deal with that. I'll do that. Yeah, Persepolis is great. Her her work is great, both of those. And you know, Safe Zone Garnazzi, what's that guy's name? Joe Sacco is also good with the sort of reporting as graphic novel. Okay. Mouse is great, but Mouse is like the one. You know, the Watchmen's the one. You know, everyone knows Mouse. Everybody knows Watchmen. I, do, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Good. All right. Good times. Buddha face.